Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. These are scriptures on parables. Parable, a simple story used to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson as told by Jesus in the Gospels. I will read the Amplified Version of Matthew chapter 13 verses 1 through 23. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and was sitting beside the Sea of Galilee. But such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there positioning himself as a teacher, while the whole crowd stood on the shore. He told them many things in parables, saying, Listen carefully. A sower went out to sow seed in his field, and as he sowed, some seed fell beside the road between the fields, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and at once they sprang up, because they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and thorns came up and choked them out. Other seed fell on good soil and yielded grain, some a hundred times as much as was sown, some sixty times as much, and some thirty. He who has ears to hear, let him hear, and heed my words. Then the disciples came to him and asked, Why do you speak to the crowds in parables? Jesus replied to them, to you it has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it has not been granted. For whoever has spiritual wisdom, because he is receptive to God's word, to him more will be given, and he will be richly and abundantly supplied. But whoever does not have spiritual wisdom, because he has devalued God's word, even what he has will be taken away from him. This is the reason I speak to the crowds in parables, because while having the power of seeing, they do not see, and while having the power of hearing, they do not hear, nor do they understand and grasp spiritual things. In them, the prophecy of Isaiah is being fulfilled, which says, you will hear and keep on hearing, but never understand and you will look and keep on looking, but never comprehend. For this nation's heart has grown hard, and with their ears they hardly hear, and they have tightly closed their eyes. Otherwise they would see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn to me, and I would heal them spiritually. But blessed, spiritually aware and favored by God are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, many prophets and righteous men who were honorable and in right standing with God longed to see what you see and did not see it and to hear what you hear and did not hear. Listen then to the meaning of the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom regarding salvation and does not understand and grasp it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is the one whom seed was sown beside the road, the one on whom seed was sown on rocky ground. This is the one who hears the word and at once welcomes it with joy. Yet he has no substantial root in himself but is only temporary. And when pressure or persecution comes because of the word, immediately he stumbles and falls away, abandoning the one who is the source of salvation and the one on whom seed was sown among thorns. This is the one who hears the word, but the worries and distractions of the world and the deceitfulness, the superficial pleasures and delight of riches choke the word and it yields no fruit and the one on whom seed was sown on the good soil this is the one who hears the word and understands and grasps it he indeed bears fruit and yields 
some a hundred times as much as was sown, some sixty times as much, and some thirty. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.